Hello and welcome. My name is Bobby Galeza. I am a member of the Polaris District Advancement Committee in the Greater Niagara Frontier Council. Today I will be going over assigning merit badges and counselors to scouts for the Scoutmasters and Assistant Scoutmasters as well as the key three in your troop. In this tutorial I will be using the Sandbox version of Scoutbook. This is created so that you can play around in Scoutbook and not worry about making any mistakes. The website is scoutbookpp.scouting.org. For your unit, you would use scoutbook.scouting.org. The login will be the same as you used for youth protection training. In the sandbox, you're able to choose a drop down and you could choose different levels of uh, leadership. For this, I will be choosing the committee chair for the troop because they are a key three. Once on the dashboard, you will go into your unit. Now there are two ways that you can look up Merit Badge Counselors. The first, if you are just using blue cards, is you would go right down to the bottom where it says MB Counselor List. You can click that. Then you can select what badge the scout will be taking, as well as you can put in your zip code. How far you want the uh, Search to be, it can be 5, 10, 25, 50, or any distance. It will do closest to the to your zip code. In this example, we're going to select citizenship in the nation merit badge. I'm going to do it within 50 miles, and we're going to search. So on here, it'll give you the person's phone number as well as email address. If your scout does contact them, make sure that they do, uh, if they email, they copy in another adult. If they call, another adult would have to be on that call as well. That is for youth protection purposes. Uh, you can give them this information and they can uh, start on their journey. If you're going to be using Scoutbook to assign a counselor for your scout, you have to go back to the troop here now. Go into the patrol that the scout is in, or you can go to the troop roster. Select the scout that you want to assign for a merit badge. Scroll down to their advancement. So here's Ian's advancement. And when you scroll down, it says start another merit badge. You will click that. On here, it'll give you uh, the information as to how you proceed to do a merit badge with the finding merit badge counselor, the cards, and inviting. So we're going to click start a merit badge. And then you can select whatever merit badge it is that the scout will be working on. So we're choosing leather work here. And you can invite, look up and invite counselor here, right at the top. And it'll bring up all the merit badge counselors within 50 miles of the zip code that your unit that your unit is registered at. Now, before you do invite a counselor on this, I would contact them to make sure that they are available to work with this scout. But all you do is once you, you know, like let's say here we contacted uh, Stephanie Riley, you click invite. And then once you go back into their advancements, you can see that Stephanie Stevie Riley is now assigned as a counselor for leatherworking. And now that, that counselor and your scout can communicate back and forth on here, the leaders are able to see that communication as well. And the counselor can sign off on the requirements through their scout book login. I hope you have found this video informative. Please comment below and let me know if there's any other videos you would like. And may the great Scoutmaster of all Scouts be with us until we meet again.